anybody that doesn't hadn't come can look at it and or if you need to review it for some reason are you seeing my microbit slide yes sir all right so go to microbit.org <clears throat> microbit.org and you will see this Now, <clears throat> why why do I have you in this meeting? We're not going to be here an hour, by the way. It won't even be probably 30 minutes. But why did I get you all together? I just want to do a quick overview of what these things are. Um, we have, <clears throat> during a meeting with Cisco, I was introduced to the micro bit. Uh, somebody mentioned it and said something about it. And I started looking. I was like, man, that's super cool. Um, and then I decided, uh, looking at them, that they are perfect for us to use for uh, marketing purposes for all different types of things, any type of camps, those types of things. But what the micro bit is, it is a little kit each of you have. So if you want to go ahead and get your kit out, you basically have a USB cord. You have a battery pack with Duracell batteries. I've already put my batteries in my pack. And then you have the micro bit. Okay. Now the yeah, micro you bit. You got a, you got a spare one. I love mine at home. Yeah. I got one. Hold on. I'll get you one. Anybody else need one while I'm up and about? Yeah, I'll, I'll come over and get one. Okay, just grab one. Yeah. Good. I'm sorry. I'll, You're fine. I'll my, my door's open if anybody else needs one. I am keeping a list of everybody who's got them. So um, I have a micro bits given out list. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> I don't mind giving any out as many as want, you want. That's fine. We just, um, we've got 100, or we had 100. Um, we're now, I think, about 85. So but the micro bit itself is just a small little computer. Uh, the, <clears throat> the neat thing about it is it has um, all kinds of cool stuff on it. And we're gonna, we're gonna boot it up here in just a second, just let you see uh, how it works. But um, it was developed by, by BBC and others to <clears throat> teach STEM, <clears throat> excuse me, and programming. So it is a little pocket sized computer that will definitely run off of the battery. So let's do, first thing you'll notice, we've just got a little, uh, doohickey in it, little uh, instruction sheet. But the first thing let's do, let's just power it up. Everybody just power it up, put your power on. So, and it should start doing this. Gonna... Now, one thing about this that will confuse students when they first start using it <clears throat> is it says hi or hello, okay? But then it's going to say to press the A button. It smiles at you. It says press A. And if you press the A button, which is right here, it makes cool little noises for you. Then it says the B button. So basically, it's teaching you this is the A button when you're coding. This is the B button when you're coding. And then here's one place it gets a little bit weird. It says shake, but you got to wait till the shake goes all the way across because it doesn't become active until the shake goes all the way across. And then You'll notice if you shake it, it's got an accelerometer in it. Oop. See, as you shake it, it does all kind of stuff. So if you shake it, it makes noise. So the neat thing about that is there are projects where students can turn it into an actual um, step counter because it's got a battery and so there's a step counter. Now this is really cool. It, when it says tilt, it has a, because of the tilt sensor, it's trying to get you to make, it's got a little game. You're trying to get the two dots together. So you tilt it until the little dots line up with each other. And I'm trying to get this here. So let me get mine up here. And it's random. so. And then you'll eventually be done with that. And then it will go back through and it says clap. Now this is really cool. Now it doesn't work till the clap goes all the way by, but then if you clap, see how it gives you the, it actually is counting the number of claps. So it's got a microphone and it's able to, it's got a speaker and a microphone on it. Um, and then it's gonna show you the little hearts. I got it wrong, so that way. So every time you boot it up, if you've got the base program on it, it walks through and shows you all these things. There's also actually a hidden uh, Easter egg. When you get to the very end here, if you'll hit both buttons, it's supposed to do something. 
which it, it shows like a waterfall or like a rain thing. If you hit A and B at the same time, it does like a weird little rainfall thing, which is kind of cool. That's an Easter egg it doesn't tell you about, but. But so just kind of a review, um, this thing has an A button and a B button. It has a uh, accelerometer in it. It has a tilt sensor. It has a microphone and a speaker. It also has a radio and Bluetooth on it. Um, so you can actually take several of these and connect them together. Now, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna take nine of these and we're gonna make a tic-tac-toe board that we're gonna put out here on the wall that's gonna run by a battery. And when people walk in, they're gonna be able to play a game of tic-tac-toe on this uh, micro bit tic-tac-toe board, uh, which is gonna be really cool. Um, so it's got all kinds of different things you can do with it. Now, one of the neatest things about it too is if you've ever used Tinkercad, anybody used Tinkercad before? If you open up Tinkercad.com, um, Tinkercad.com is uh, a site you can get a free account on, all right? But all you have to do for on Tinkercad is you can really just, you pull out the uh, micro bit and the micro bit, this by the way is the, the this particular version I have on here, it looks like it's the B version. I mean, the A version instead of the B version um, because the, uh, I don't know, it may not be, it may be, it may not be, but either way, you see here, we can actually use their, the code. And if you start the simulation, it'll give you a smiley icon, but you can also tilt it in this simulation here. And it has a temperature sensor. We're all gonna do the temperature sensor here in just a minute because it's really, really, really cool. It also has a light sensor to see how much light's being applied um, on it. So there's, there's a lot of neat things there. So let's think about, as we're looking at this, how could we use this? What kind of projects could we use this for? Marsha, I was thinking about any of your intro to programming classes because one of the things with this, this as we go in here, <clears throat> you will learn that we can use uh, the make code editor and uh, just call it uh, blah. Okay, so inside of here is the make code editor. So one of the very first things I did um, was, let's see, basic uh, show string on startup show. Here's something I, I thought about. Wouldn't it be neat if we go out to do marketing and we just do this and we take them and use it as a scrolling name tag. So there's our name. So we've got these scrolling name tags that we have <clears throat> that are micro bits, which you can just take the power, drop it down in your shirt for men who have shirts like this. And you've got a scrolling name tag, which is really cool. And you can actually, instead of doing on start, do it forever. And now as it's running, it will, well, I need it forever to start. There it goes. So now it will run and show, scroll my, my name. Now, the cool thing too is though, look, it will actually show you the Python for it. On forever, basic dot show string, Kelly Caudle, on forever. So you can use this with the blocky, you know, the make code, or you can also show them the Python that's there so they can see how the Python works. Now, that's pretty cool. And, but the neat thing here too is, all of the pre-made projects. So we're going to actually take quick questions. Everybody run through the startup. Everybody run through the startup. Please yeah. say yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So the through. easiest thing to yeah. do here is this. Take your power and just take one, one or more batteries out. So just take one battery out or just you can go ahead and take both. It's up to you. Just take your batteries out so we can, we can disconnect it. Then take your USB cord and connect it to the USB connector on the, the top of the micro bit, which is right up there, while still leaving the power in because the power is pain to butt to get in and out. But you've taken the, the batteries out. Make sure you take the batteries out before you do this. And then plug it into your computer. I've got to step around here and plug it into mine. So Now, when you do, it's going to boot up and run back through that same program again because Obviously, it's got power on it. Now it's going to run through it, but that's okay. You will also notice immediately that you now have on your computer a new drive, the microbit drive. Okay. 
And so here is the microbit drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these projects and we're going to explore activities. And we're all going to get a dice roller. We're going to make a random dice roller. So everybody get down there to random dice roller. Click on it. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is here's the code for it. On shake, show a number from one to six. And then here's the Python code from microbit import, import the random function. While true, if accelerometer was just or shake, display a random number one to six. Okay. Now, this microbit uses what's called hex programs. That's what's downloaded to the microbit. So if we click on download the hex, it will give us the dice python, dice-python.hex. Okay. If we do make, make code, we can download the hex there and it'll be dice.makecode.hex. Either one will work. Okay. Now, when you get these, you show them in your downloads folder, you copy it, and then you paste it into the micro bit. And that's how you get a new program onto your micro bit using your computer. You just copy it and paste it. If you make a new one in uh, make code, you can download it as a hex file and it will paste it to it. And then now what should happen is your It should, you shake it, you should get a random number. I'm getting, there's a four. In fact, here, watch this. Six. So I now have a random dice. I have a dice, a D6. Now, I gave this to my little 10 year old nephew, and one of the first things he did is he, uh, we like to play board games. Well, in board games, there's D6s, D8s, D10s, D20s. Well, the first thing Andrew did is he said, you know what? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do, um, let's see, where's the shake? On shake uh, input. On shake. When said that, he said on button press, okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to ditch these. On button press A, uh, Let's see, math, I think it was math. Okay. We get a pick random number, zero. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. Would it be basic show number? It may be basic. Show number? No, no it's gotta it's gotta be the random. It's the random one. I just gotta find. Well, it would it would. It show number, be, uh, pick random. Gotcha. Show number, pick go. random. There it is. Okay. So right, show so number. I'm clear. I'm in the download, just for the, uh, if you open the, the G drive, it doesn't show that .hex file, right? You're Correct. Right. It never shows it. And that's what's confusing. When you download that file to the micro bit, it never shows it here. So it just applies it to the micro bit and reboots the micro bit and it goes. So that is very confusing. You will never see what is on your micro bit by just looking on this drive. So that's an important thing. Let's all do this. Go to, uh, let's see, go to Let's Code and go to Make Code Editor. And let's make us a D20, zero to 20. All right. And then now all we have to do is download this as a blah.hex show in folder. Copy this. Paste it into the micro bit. Give it a couple seconds to paste over there. Take a hit of sun drop. That's optional. Okay. Now, if I stick my finger on there, if I press A, I get a random number. There's 19 between 1 and 20, 13, 7. 10. And so what my nephew did immediately is he set the A button to be a D20, the B button to be like a D8, both buttons to be a D100, a shake to be. So he immediately just started using the code that he had already seen. And literally within two minutes, he had built himself a complete dice roller for role-playing games. 
And this was a 10 year old that has had zero experience programming at all. And then he started playing around doing all kinds of music and LED stuff. And, you know, really the cool thing is with this project area here, like here's a step counter. We did this the other day. We all made, we made a step counter and watched and, and went around. But you can also look here how you can put in either beginners, intermediate, or advanced. And when you look at advanced, look at this, proximity beacons, you can actually set it up to where when two of them get close to each other, they start making more noise. Um, this is a little, This is for the, the older micro bit. Back in the old days, the first version did not have a speaker on it. So you actually had to code it where it would output to a speaker. Okay, um, but now uh, we've got speakers on them. So we don't have to. Here's a pressure switch alarm, um, data loggers, fireflies. Um, it's all, all kind of stuff here. What I want you to do is I want to find a, uh, here you go, indoor outdoor thermometer. So let's do this. So we're going to use just one. We're not going to use two, but what we're going to do is this. So um, actually, let's, let's do we're gonna make this code right here. On button, press A, show number, temperature. All right, so let's go over here. And so we're gonna say on button, press A, show number. I'm gonna delete this. And I gotta find show temperature, wherever that's at. Let's see, where's show temperature, which is the purple. Show temperature in Celsius. All right, so I'm gonna download this. And I'm going to show it in the folder and then I'm going to send it to my micro bit. And then I'll show you why I think these things are super, super cool and, and neat. All right, so button press A. It is 20 degrees Celsius in my office. Now, everybody, I'm gonna pause the recording because we're gonna get up and leave our offices for a second. If you're watching this later, we took it into a refrigerator and showed the temperature. Right now in my office, it is 19 degrees Celsius. It's warming up because I had it in the freezer. Um, Brian just mentioned that you can actually, even with the batteries connected, you can connect the USB. So I'm gonna do that. I just take the batteries out I'm afterwards. Oh. Yeah, I normally just I normally just take the batteries out <clears throat> when I have it connected to my PC, but it doesn't hurt anything to have both connected. Um, <clears throat> I want to show one or two other little things. Um, first off, uh, there are lessons. So if for some reason you actually want to run a lesson, there are lessons for seven to eleven year olds. So data handling, digital flashcards, you can actually make digital flashcards. Conductors, getting active. So talking about walking. Uh, musical things in music. Um, so, and then here there's 11 through 14 being active and then 14 to 16, so energy awareness. So there's an entire set of lessons that can be used if you want to, all right? So it talks about, you know, the energy around us, what it is, global goals, obviously with the climate summit that's been going on this week, all this is, has been big, um, but it is, uh, there's a lot of resources here that you can do. Um, and then last but not least, let's see what else I got in here. Um, I showed the make code and that. Um, just the amount of projects and things that are here that are cool. Um, I like the rock, paper, scissors. That was really neat. The beating heart's cool. Um, sunlight sensor. So you have it light up when it sees the sun. Name badge, magic eight ball, all kinds of stuff. Um, so there's just a regular thermometer that we did. Have you found like a solar, I mean, I'm assuming that solar, a little solar panel would, would be enough to power it. Uh, I have no idea. You'd have to find, I'm sure there's, what I would probably do if I was going to power with solar is just get something to charge your batteries back up. But I'm going to try this one because I want to try that. This is, uh, see, this is one of the old ones because it didn't have a speaker. So it used to be you had to connect pin zero and ground. And so I'm gonna actually download this and install this one on mine and see if it makes mine into a jukebox. But again, remember when you download the hex to the, uh, to the micro bit, it's actually gonna stop. It's gonna put it on there and then it won't show anything on it. 
Kelly, where'd you buy these? I bought these at a uh, at a spot. Uh, I'll get the guy's name for you, but it's uh, it was oh, I got the name on the box right here. Hold on a minute. They're on state contract, and it's called School Data Books Inc. School Data Books Inc. But I got the guy's name. It's Brad Metzger. Um, so there's mine. Yeah, playing. Thing here kind of playing. So that's pretty cool. That's neat. But you can also see here again, see it in Python from import, import music. If A is press, play, uh, play music.play, music.ode. If B is press, play music.blues. So, Pharaoh Jaca loops. It's, it's really neat. I think this is. Um, I can see a lot of uses for us in uh, just program. Just think about a, a camp this summer we could do, um, you know, if we're doing kids, kids camps, how cool it would be to have kids using these and then just give them one. Um, these were $22 and 70 cent a piece for the bag with, with everything. Um, so $22 for the bag, the, the cable, the micro bit and the batteries. And also um, I think they're fairly reasonable. And that's, they're a little bit more expensive now than they usually are. Normally they're only about $17 a piece, but with our current uh, inflation and everything, they're, they're $22 a piece. Um, but I was able to get a hundred of them in fairly quickly. So uh, any questions? Any questions about it? Um, you will notice, like I said, there's a couple advanced projects that have, uh, what is going on in my house? I got a bird. Um, some of the advanced projects, when you look at projects, um, there are some that even use, uh, you know, additional external um, codes. And if you just go to the Holy Google <laughs> and do uh, micro bit uh, projects, you know, there's obviously there, but here's the top 28 projects you must try in Seed Studio. Um, so it's 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 pretty neat. It is a it's a really cool. So we've got the V2 by the way. If, if if they're looking which version you have, we've got the version two. That's the built-in speaker and everything. You'll notice it's only fifteen bucks. Be ordering at fifteen dollars, but that's if you just get the micro bit and don't get the uh, battery pack and all. So the battery pack and all, it's a little more a little more expensive. But rainbow LED secret box, all these things. These these look cool. So there's other stuff we could do down the road if we're willing to add some some stuff to it i could even see this being used in like a plc class or in a an electronics class um, because of all the little things you can connect it to um, in addition to and here's the bit there's they got a little kit looks like that they add to it to get some additional stuff and that's cool oh that was neat that was really neat i had a little door that opened when they when it saw something in front of it Look at that. Oh, that was really cool. You know, a kid would love that. We've got some of those already, by the way. I've got one of those uh, those sensors. I've got some of those already. So that's pretty cool. So just any questions about it or about the uh, sliding servos, Neat? That's very cool. So there's mm, hundreds of ways we can use this. Um, <clears throat> 16 top BBC micro bit. Um, so by the way, in the state of North Carolina, uh, in some of the North Carolina DPI classes for computer uh, introduction to computers and those types of things, they're already using micro bits. So micro bits are known by some students. Um, so you can kind of, you may have some, some students already know them. I don't think anywhere in Stanley County is using it. I haven't seen any school in Stanley County using it. Um, but even something like this, this is really cool to do a step counter, like trying to name tag and all these things. So any questions for the call today? Oh, car racing challenge. What that is? Yeah, thanks, All right, I got to see this. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's using the tilt sensor. 
you know, hit game controllers lets you move left and right. No, it's using them left and right. Oh, wow, you could do like a Space Invaders game if you could figure out a way to make it shoot, too. Maybe press both to shoot. Ah! Rick. Now, that's pretty cool. All right, I got to download that one. I'm like you, Adam. I won't be able to get anything done today. I'll be messing around with this thing all day. All right. Any questions? Yeah, send me that guy's information if you don't mind. I'll do it. I'll get it here in just a minute. Um, and that's all I got, folks. I'm going to stop the recording if you don't have any other questions. John, have you found anything neat before I stop recording? Have you found anything cool that playing with it? Because the guy gave down to his last week, a little bit earlier than everybody else. They got an EMG muscle sensory that they created. That's I mean, cool. the, the only thing I tried was the, the watch, but I'm going to look at uh, some other stuff. Oh, that's cool. It's set score to zero, player car create. So that is neat. Okay. But that dice, the, the one, your, your, the one your, uh, your nephew did was cool because then. When you on game night, you you don't need the regular dice. Right. You press the key and then. Yeah, you can sit there and roll. You can hit. You know, when playing our game, you hit the button and it rolls, and they look at you and go, "What is that?" And then you can start, you know, doing uh, doing all kind of things. So. Wow. Do we know uh, what the memory limitation is on it? No clue. No. No. Now look at this. You. It looks like you can actually set it up to where four cars can play at the same time somehow no, those are the those are the bad cars those are the bad cars okay <clears throat> the micro bit has a 250k or kilobit flash memory and 16 kilobit ram okay yeah it's not it's not a it's not a high-end machine but it's for what it can do i mean let's look here at all the different things as far as basic yeah. show icons um you know and then led and then right here's the radio. You set the radio group. One thing I mm -hmm. will tell us we'll probably need to do is we start doing more projects around here together is maybe everybody pick a number for their radio group. Because if you set your radio group to one and everybody else sets theirs to one, then you're going to interfere with each other. So you may want to, every one of us, just pick a number and decide that's what we're going to be. But basically, you can see when it receives something, you can actually do all kinds of things. Radio power, transmit true, loops variables you make a variable here's your mass functions and then down here there's all kind of <clears throat> game functions create sprites <clears throat> so you know for yours adam this would be a great thing to just have people create a little uh <clears throat> a little game as part of their <clears throat> their first uh game assignments images you can create images so you can create your own image if you want to do your own image uh, there's serial stuff. So there's all kind of stuff I haven't even looked at and played with um, that gets you know, even stuff running in the background. Uh, so lots of things we can do with these. Um, I'm They're in my office. I'm not going to hoard them. The only thing I'm going to do is keep up with where they go. Um, so right now, like I said, we've got one, two, four, five, six, seven. We have 10 out right now. So we have 90 left. Um, that we can use for for anything. So if anybody's got a, like somebody going this Friday to um, where is it South Stanley or North Stanley? I, I take ten of them. Take ten of these with you, or fifteen, or twenty, or whatever, and use them. And that way we can we can start using them in the classrooms. <clears throat> Any questions? All right, folks. That's all I got.